Hey everyone, Deborah here, and in this video, I'm going to show you a neat trick that Word 365 has. So, on my screen, I have a blank page with just a very brief equation on it. 3 times 4 divided by 2. All right, well, in order to show the answer to this and use Word as a calculator, first, you have to add the calculator tool to the Quick Access Toolbar. The Quick Access Toolbar is way up here in the upper left corner. And right now I have a few tools that I have placed here, and I got rid of some others that I don't use. I have Save, Save As, Open a New Document, New Blank Document, Open an Existing Document, and Print Preview and Print. Now, there is a button to the right of the Quick Access Toolbar. When you click on that, you get a list of uh, probably the most common tools that people use, and the ones that have check marks are the ones that are currently displayed. Now, to remove one of them, it's very easy to do. Just click to remove that particular tool, and to bring it back, click this button again, and click that tool to bring it back and give it the check mark again. But this doesn't have all the tools on it. So in order to see the one that we want, which is a calculator, what we need to do is click right here, More Commands. This brings up the Word Options dialog box very quickly. And make sure it should already be highlighted, but make sure that the Quick Access Toolbar choice over here on the left-hand side is highlighted. Then the next thing you do is you go right here to this button and you click all commands. Then you scroll down through the list, it's alphabetical, and it used to be you'd find it in the C's under the word calculator, but they changed it and now it's under tools calculations. And so you have to go to the T area, the T's, and look for tools. And there's a whole bunch of different ones. Okay, and the one we want is here, Tools Calculate. So we're going to click to select that. And on the right-hand side, these are my current tools that I have in the Quick Access Toolbar. And we need to add the Calculator tool to that. So just click Add, and it pops it right over here. Then in the bottom right corner, click OK. And now on my Quick Access Toolbar, a new button has been added. It is just a round circle. Circle. It is grayed out. If I click on it right now, nothing happens. It's not clickable just yet. The only time that it's clickable and you can use it is if you highlight an equation like this one. So I'm going to click to highlight that. And now look up here, and the button is now clearly, sharply visible. So now if I click on this button, Notice that nothing happens here on the page, but what does happen is down here in the lower left corner, this is where the calculation answer will show up. But it only shows up for a few seconds. So you have to click it, click the button again to see it. The result of the calculation is 6. Okay, yeah, 3 times 4 is 12, divided by 2 is 6. So if you want to see it again, you just keep, keep clicking the button, and it will keep coming back. Now, if I want to make this a longer equation, I can do that. Let's say I want to add uh, 7 to the final result, so I'll put plus 7. Then I'm going to highlight it again and click the calculation button, calculator button. And down here, yeah, the answer is showing is 13, and that's exact, exactly what it would be. So you can make the calculations longer. Um, to be honest with you, I have not <laughs> attempted to make a super long calculation. I don't know um, how far you can go with it, but um, it might be fun to try different things. So just to let you know, this is a hidden talent of Word. It has its own built-in calculator tool that you can add to the Quick Access Toolbar.